Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Here to work on the gantry crane. Excuse the glare, it's outside and it's sunny. So I've got these two marked off. It's my uh, pipe wrap. Got a few different sizes of those. Uh, pick those up if you don't have any. They're really handy. You can even use them to mark off square tube and stuff like that. So cutting it here will make the existing stand fit into the shop, which is today's goal. And then also today I'm going to try to cut out the lower section here to put those rams in. Um, one of the reasons I'm going through this effort, you know, if it's just to raise it and lower it, that's one thing. I don't know how well it's going to show up. There's quite a slant to my asphalt here. When I had this set up against the shop, I mean, it was like this. <laughs> this side was like a foot and a half higher. So I don't want to lift stuff and have the trolley go, ew. And also, I might use this in the field sometimes. So the ability to level it would just be like an extra, extra thing. And with the hydraulic cylinders down in here, it'll be really easy to use, still nice and compact. These are the cylinders I'm going to be using. I thought they had the ones that had the four bolt holes. So I'm going to have to make a little angle iron pocket for them to sit in. That's no big deal. So I'm going to see if I can set you guys up to watch me torch cut that. Not that it's real exciting, but I'll see what I can do. I'll bring you back. Okay, so now that we have both ends cut to length, now we can do our rough measurements for this. Uh, you know, a few inches 
an inch or so here or there this isn't going to be a big thing here so butt this against the bottom here this is fully compressed so we're going to run the pull that goes through here we're going to plate on the bottom with two dog ears to go over that so we want that to stick down enough to get the bolt in so actually that line there um should be good because i want to be able to get to the bolt so we may cut it a hair a hair above that and then so we'll cut this part out as it will stroke inside of that cylinder and this will be I roughly measured this line to here that's how much lift we'll have that's the full stroke of this cylinder from this position so get this bottom cut out i probably won't show you that because how much cutting of pipe with a cutting torch can you watch so get that done and i'll bring you back okay we got that lower part cut out that was a chore as you can see this was the bottom here had a it's still full it like four inches of dirt and rust in there mostly rust so that was fun to cut through so now go get the metal probably tomorrow to make the box for the jack and the stuff to make the dog ears yeah it's coming along nicely i'll get the other one cut here and i'll probably be a day on this but again this was only I only spent like an hour and a half getting it to this point. So you'll have much more work left. Got to cut the two arms off of there. Make them longer. I'm just going to butt weld new pipe to them. I'll cut them flush, champ for them, and extend it. And yeah, we're getting there. So this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.